Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. Let us go to Munich for today's daily challenge. Only one choice of upgrade is offered. All destinations are circles. This will be fine. Of course, the one time I didn't do Good Morning Mini Motorways this week was the day where it was all roundabouts all the time. It's not that. We, we won't get choices, but at least, you know, we'll get variety. Maybe. Hopefully. Trombone Dalek was here first. Good morning, Trombone Dalek. I would also like to send a special shout out to... It's not the best choice. Entity! Or just Entity. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say Entity for the rest of time, but I had to try that once. Entity came in with the follow while we were off stream. Thank you for that, Entity. All right, you go up that away. Uh, this blue will run thus. And you three go over here. Everybody's going to be circular. Everybody being circular is actually not the worst thing because circles can... Circles demand more traffic, but the game knows that, so it spawns houses to compensate. It's actually not a bad thing, all things considered. All right, let's take, ooh, a roundabout. Rarely will you see the underscore Goog complain about a roundabout. Before we dive too, too deep into today's episode, uh, well, first... Uh, ooh, we got another orange guy here. Let's figure out what we're doing with this. Well, you're going to come up here, I think. And actually, I might want I might want to restructure some things here. Let's kill Let's kill this. Let's see about maybe hmm now we're going to kill both of these orange roads and see where these orange houses wind up spawning. Am I going to get more orange houses to deal with here, or is this going to be it? I think this here is it. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these three oranges, right? We're going to pair them with this guy. Come out like so, up to here in thusly. Meanwhile... These three oranges right here, we're going to wait until we get another bridge back, like so. And then they are going to come down here, recreate that orange road. So now we get four going to the southern circle, three going to the northern circle. We maintain one business, one road. We leave this blue guy out in the lurch. We immediately reposition this orange guy to make it four and four. And off we go. Okay. Hi, Nora. Oh, she's very mad at me because I didn't feed her this morning. I usually feed her first thing as soon as I get out of bed. And today I didn't do that. I'll do it after Gimimimim. But she doesn't understand the concept of after Gimimimim. She understands the concept of I want food and you're the person that gives me food and I don't have food. The poor kitty. I know. Life is so hard to be a kitty cat. It's so difficult and frustrating to know that the food lives in a bag in a closet. And you're not allowed in the closet because you'll eat the food. It's so hard. It's so hard and bad and gross to be a Nora sometimes. All right, so we've got two blue houses right next to this blue circle, which is good. These two might be enough to keep this business happy for quite some time, just on proximity. These three, similarly, might be able to keep this blue circle basically satisfied. I'm not entirely sure about that because their road is a fair whack longer, but it should basically be okay. One hopes. All right, purple guys, stop. If a purple guy spawns like right here, this is gonna be annoying. exactly what I said would be annoying. All right, give me two traffic lights, I suppose. Sure. All right, you're going to hook all the way down there just to go up that way. It's going to be fine. 
All right, we've got these three here. These two blues aren't really doing anything. I don't have any more bridges, which is a problem. I'm also going to pave the island because, listen, you should pave the island when you're in uh, Munich. Is this Munich or Zurich? I've already forgotten. When you're in uh, three, three letters, ick. That's it. Whenever you're in a city that starts with three letters and ends with ick, just pave the island. Just do it. Before we get too, too much deeper into the episode, I want to send thoughts and prayers out to our good friend, Samurai Sam. Sam's grandma is very ill, and it doesn't look like it's going to end well. Thinking about you, Sam, hope you're doing okay. It, uh, I don't have anything creative or interesting to add, but it sucks. And so, I'm sorry for that, Sam. We're thinking about you. Hope you're doing okay. And timing, sports fun. Listen, uh, you couldn't have known I was going to do that. Sports Pun and I were chatting last night, and uh, we were talking about Mitch Moreland, as one does. And, as it happens, he had never seen the Spirit Squad. And so when I referenced the wrestler who was known only as Mitch, he didn't get the joke. Well, that is unacceptable. Sports Pun would like to hear a true fact about professional wrestling, and he wants me to tell him about the Spirit Squad. So, the Spirit Squad were... Uh, first of all, we're going to continue paving this island because pave the island. You go off that away. You come off here. That was a weird Western musical starring F. Murray Abraham. Going to pave the island. No? No? I didn't realize the painter wagon was a real thing after the Simpsons referenced it. I thought it was just a thing that they made up because it would be a funny, absurd thing. No, it was an actual th real movie. There's a fucking musical called Paint Your Wagon starring some of the most badass Western actors in the entire world. Okay. Anyway. Uh, ee, these, uh, these White Houses over here are gross. It's just a blanket statement. Here, let's chop this off of here. We'll take you and you, run you up so, and you can share that road, I guess. I don't love that, but what else are we going to do? Stick a roundabout in there? Actually, sticking a roundabout in there might not be the worst thing to do. Let's take a motorway. I'm going to take a motorway. We're given a motorway. Let's be honest with ourselves. All right, you come down to here. You can go out like so. So the Spirit Squad. In 2005, six, something like that. Hold on. So in 2005, six, seven, nine, maybe something like that. Um, Shawn Michaels and Vince McMahon were having a feud as one does when one's a babyface in WWE, when Vince McMahon can still kind of sort of move around and wrestle a little bit, you eventually have a feud with Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon, as he always does, needed some goons. And Vince McMahon's goons were a five-man stable of young talents from Ohio Valley Wrestling. And OVW, uh, OVW Ohio Valley Wrestling, was WWE's main developmental territory at that point. It was a small little wrestling promotion that I can't remember if WWE owned outright at the time, but it was the place where WWE sent promising young talents who they wanted to develop into the next generation of great pro wrestling stars, hence it being known as developmental. We are going to take a second here, and I think, I think I'm going to redraw all of this pink bullshit. All of this pink bullshit doesn't really need to exist as currently constructed. This pink bullshit is taking up a bunch of road tiles and a bridge, and there's no good reason for it. So, rather than allow it to continue existing, we're going to put a motorway right here and draw a motorway that comes down like so. And now these white houses can go up into this white circle. These pink houses can motorway over here. Sorry, I tried to get through that sentence without sneezing, and then it couldn't happen. So those guys can do that. These pinks can come here. This saves me a whole bunch of road and a bridge. 
Plus, it, it eliminates a horrible traffic jam, which should make life easier for this underserved and angry white circle. Anytime you can uh, do better by your angry white circle, you need to do that. That's the philosophy of the Republican Party. So you remember that pink bridge I just saved, like eight seconds ago? Well, we're unsaving it because uh, this pink circle now exists. So what we're going to do is we're going to move motorway number one so that these five pink houses service this circle via motorway. Additionally, we're going to come up here and have you, 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 uh, you, you, and you come out this way bridge yourselves you don't have a oh that pink road hasn't finished killing itself yet okay well that will eventually be fine you're gonna come down here you're gonna go into there have a good day trombone dalek half day no school tomorrow lots of apartment packing good luck dalek off goes the bridge here come the pink guys okay so you five motorway over here you, uh, seven. Yeah, you seven. Long road, you eight even. Long road and bridge over here. Keep this circle happy. And you, what is this, four? Yeah, you four. Uh, can just be down here and service this guy and that'll be totally fine. Here, you know what? We're gonna make you five, actually. You're not gonna be four. You're gonna be five. Here, do that. It's all gonna be fine. All right. Give me another bridge. Thank you, game. I appreciate it. And let us continue talking about the Spirit Squad. So, Vince McMahon is feuding with Shawn Michaels. He needs goons. And his goons are a bunch of young wrestlers from OVW, which at the time was the WWF's developmental territory. They had a whole bunch of promising young talents who were, you know, supposed to be really, really good professional wrestlers eventually, but nobody had ever heard of them. So, as is typical, you know, they decided, hey, you know, these guys are pretty much ready to debut. We need a, we need a tough, badass gimmick to get them over, or failing that, we need a easy, cheap, heel heat gimmick to get them over, and they decided to go for the easy, cheap, heel heat of male cheerleaders. For you see, Vince McMahon loves nothing more than fucking stereotype heels. And male cheerleaders, well, that's a fucking stereotype. It's the kind of thing you would have made fun of if you were, say, a high school student in the 1950s, like Vince McMahon was. was, was he was like a high school student in the 60s. But anyway, if you were a high school student in the 60s, you would have made fun of male cheerleaders because, haha, cheerleaders are supposed to be pretty girls. Any guy who's a cheerleader must be, uh, well, you know. We can't say that word, but you know what I'm talking about. He's a little light in his loafers, so to speak. Ha 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 Gay jokes. <sighs> Listen, it's a true fact about professional wrestling. It's not a shining moment about professional wrestling. All right, I need to get a bunch of road back. We're gonna move these whites over to this circle. These four are now gonna service this circle up here. There you go. Nora, what are you getting into? Hey, get away from that. Get. She's discovered the backup cat food bag. Listen, I will feed you in 37 minutes at most, okay? It's fine. Calm down. I'm talking about bitch. Charge 5k for a heartwarming tale about professional wrestling. No. People have more channel points than that, and there aren't that many. It's a bad, scuzzy business filled with bad, scuzzy people that occasionally provides great entertainment if you're predisposed to like that particular flavor of entertainment. <sighs> anyway. There are not that many heartwarming tales. <laughs> Where was I going with this? Oh, right, Mitch. So, oh, right, Mitch is the title of the episode because that's funny. So, Vince McMahon needs, he needs 
Vince McMahon needs goons, right? He needs people that he can sick on Shawn Michaels. And that, uh, listen, Twitch content is also a bad, scuzzy business filled with bad, scuzzy people that has surprisingly few heartwarming stories. I mean, one of the biggest streamers on Twitch just got in trouble because he publicly admitted to paying for deep fake porn of another one of the biggest streamers on Twitch. That's a bad thing to do and then a worse thing to say that you did. Don't do that thing. All right. Where were we going with this? Oh, right. I was taking again, once again. Oh, right. Mitch. <sighs> Mitch is like the least important member of the fucking spirit squad here. We're going to run motorway number two for these six pink houses over here. These six pink houses over here are going to support the pink end of this double plaza. I have no idea what's going to go here. I have no idea what I want to go there. It's going to end poorly no matter what it is. Unless it's white. If this business is white, we're okay. If it's not, we're in trouble. I am a civil engineer in Alabama, apparently. Let's... Sorry to the good people of Alabama. I just generalized your state based on the bad people of Alabama. You, the good people of Alabama, know that there are bad people in Alabama. Let's move on. So Vince McMahon needs goons, as I've said once or twice before, and he decides, because he's both <laughs> zoning committee said the quiet part loud. I mean, I'm sure they have. We've got purples that got to get up there. That sucks. Uh, let's make this life a little bit easier by burning the last motorway? Maybe? Eh, we might wind up burning the motorway to get the purples there, actually. Ooh, hey, you remember when I said that this that everything would be okay if this business was white? Well, it's a fucking pottery barn! Sorry to the people of color who shop at Pottery Barn. I'm just overgeneralizing everything today. Everybody go. <sighs> All right, I have no idea what's going on in life anymore. So we have a bunch of purple dudes who have to get up here to this purple circle. This purple circle is angry for lack of purple dudes. Okay, this is reasonable. I understand all of this. Thus far, no complaints. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna redraw this pink road so that it goes up and around and over this purple business. These pink houses can totally support that extra road length. It'll be fine. Meanwhile, we're going to figure out a way for as many spare purples as I can possibly find, which means like uh, you're going to stick that way, but I'm going to take you two and you three and point you in a generally this way. <laughs> Potters of God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. All right. Here, we're just, we're sticking motorway number three right here and we're running it up that away. And now these five purple houses can all awkward their way onto this motorway, get up there, support that purple circle. It'll be totally fine. You see how fine this is? You see how not dying this purple circle is? Look how not dying this purple circle is. It's actually, it's not dying. I, I have managed to, to stop its blood bleeding a, a fair bit. It's not presently dying, and I, if I had to hazard a guess, I would suggest that it probably won't die anytime soon. It might still die. It's still in rough shape, actually, despite having seven houses in a straight shot motorway. Listen, sports pun, I'm as glad I'm glad that there are people who find me half as amusing as I find myself. Can you imagine if people didn't think this shit was funny? God, please, anyway. So Vince McMahon needs goons, as I've said one or two times before. And he decides that his goons will be, port the gimmick of his goons will be that they are a cheerleading squad because ha ha male cheerleaders, that lets us make gay jokes. Again, not a great and shining moment in professional wrestling, just a true fact. So the Spirit Squad are a gang of five dudes who are very clearly in the strict employ of Vince McMahon 
to beat the fuck out of Shawn Michaels as punishment for Shawn Michaels being a disobedient jack wagon to Vince McMahon in storyline. IRL Vince McMahon usually liked it when Shawn Michaels was a, was a disobedient jack wagon to him because uh, Vince McMahon has a Shawn Michaels fetish, honestly. Like, that's a true fact about the history of the World Wrestling Federation. Vince McMahon let Shawn Michaels get away with fucking anything because Vince McMahon had a Shawn Michaels fetish. But I digress. In storyline, Vince and Shawn are having a feud, and Vince has hired some goons to beat the crap out of him on regular occasions. Those goons being the Spirit Squad, a group of male cheerleaders whose names are, in a particular order, Kenny, Johnny, Nikki, Mitch, wait, no, Kenny, Johnny, Mitch, Nikki, and Mikey, and we are the Spirit Squad. How do I know that, and how do I say that in that particular order? Because the Spirit Squad's theme song, which in its instrumental section was just a generic high school rah-rah band riff whatever, started with those five men saying their names in this order. Kenny! Johnny! Mitch! Nikki! Mikey! And we are the Spirit Squad! Or whatever. They did that every time every time it was very fun listen the spirit squad ruled okay if you get past the gimmick and the commentary and the fact that they got fucking buried they got fucking buried so hard we'll get into that in a second here the spirit squad ruled because they were young athletic dudes who were trying to prove themselves so they did crazy fucking shit they did crazy fucking shit, and it ruled. <laughs> However, they were Vince McMahon's hired goons in a feud with Shawn Michaels that later included Triple H. And listen, you can be young and athletic and talented, but if you're a young and athletic and talented guy who's in a feud with Triple H and Shawn Michaels, especially in, say, the late 2000s, it's going to end poorly for you. Yes, Nora, it is going to end poorly for you. I know. The poor spirit squad, they got buried. Just like you do with your own shit. Okay, hi, hello. So, the spirit squad went on. They, they had a they had a months long feud with Triple H and Shawn Michaels, which, you know, Triple H and Shawn Michaels eventually won. And not only did they win the feud, this feud culminated in a backstage beatdown where Triple H and Shawn Michaels, two dudes, beat up Kenny, Johnny, Mitch, Nikki, and Mikey, five dudes. And then, and I swear to God, this is true. They put Kenny, Johnny, Mitch, Nikki, and Mikey in a big wooden crate and slapped a sticker on the side of the crate that said, please ship back to OVW. Now to the fan at home, who isn't like a super smart wrestling insider and has never, who just watches WWE, they don't know what the fuck OVW is. They don't know anything about it because they never mentioned it. It, it was a crate-like structure. It was, it, it actually was. They don't know what OVW is. They don't know anything about this. They just know, oh, they're packing up the Spirit Squad and sending them away. But OVW was the developmental territory. So this, very literally, on television, was the big established world champion level stars, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, taking these five guys who were supposed to be the high-flying athletic to next generation of superstars and literally saying these guys aren't on our level they need to go back to developmental fuck these guys they're worth nothing stunningly shockingly it's this is incredible to hear i'm sure the spirit squad for the most part never recovered Four of the five guys, three of the five guys in the Spirit Squad were functionally never heard from again. Like uh, Johnny, Mitch, and Mikey just never amounted to anything. You know, Johnny Cheater was supposed to be a big guy. You know, Mitch, Mikey, they never got over at all, ever. Uh, Kenny, Kenny, who was like the ostensible leader of the Spirit Squad, he came back to WWE like 
I came back to WWE. He was brought back up to television maybe six months later. And his character, and I swear to God, this is true, was Kenny Dykstra. Because his name is Kenny, and there's a famous person named Lenny Dykstra. So this guy's name is Kenny Dykstra. Isn't that funny? I guess. Nora just knocked a D12 off my table. She rolled a 10, which is really good on a D12. Nora, that is not a toy. No, you cannot. No, don't eat that. I've retrieved the D12. It's okay. Eminem's band is safe. Oh God. Let it go. All right, we got a blue guy over here. I forgot we had a blue guy over here. Okay. We can do something with the blue guy over here. You three are going to have to come this way and then over to here. We're going to stick a roundabout right here. You're going to come up here like so. You're going to move down there. That's going to be fine. You're going to go in there. Everybody go. Jesus Christ. So Johnny, Mitch, and Mikey never amount to anything. Kenny gets briefly repackaged as another low-card heel geek and stunningly also doesn't get over and doesn't really amount to anything. Nikki, actually, has been a fixture of WWE television for the last 15 years because Nikki, who was, you know, who had already had one terrible failed gimmick, Got another terrible failed gimmick in the Spirit Squad, but then Nikki got repackaged again as Dolph Ziggler. And amazingly, like Dolph Ziggler is another terrible fucking name based off of an old popular culture reference because it's a fucking Dirk Diggler reference. And yes, they did include as part of his initial character that he had a huge dick. That was just part of it. Somehow, unfucking believably Dolph Ziggler got and stayed over and has been like a multi-time world champion. Has he ever actually mattered despite having the world championship multiple times? That's a question for another time. The answer to which is no. Spoilers, the answer to the question has Dolph Ziggler ever actually mattered is no. But hey, now we're into the philosophies of WWE, and we don't need to have that conversation today. But that is the story of Mitch. That's why we started this whole terrible digression about male cheer mere, bleh, about male cheerleaders. There we go. I said the thing. You, blue guy, go up that away. You, white business. You suck. I don't like you. Um. All right, I've got all of these whites down here who aren't doing fucking anything. However, I don't see any great way to get them up here. Additionally, separate issue, this pink circle is super angry on account of its ultra long road. So let's give it more houses. Sure. Let's give it more houses. That'll be fine. You can have more houses. You can have uh, that many more houses. I also have these four pinks over here who aren't doing anything. But I think generally that's going to be okay. This blue is mad. This white is not going to survive. Okay. We need to talk about Kevin. No, we need to reconsider some of our philosophies here. Let's further complicate this roundabout by adding another spur that's supposed to support this business. That is going to totally drain all of my white houses, all of my white houses are going to hate that. So I don't know how I'm going to support that in the absence of a motorway, but 
For now, we're just gonna have to pretend that this is okay, even though it is very clearly not okay. This roundabout right here is in fact the roundabout that will kill everything. However, what I can do is put a little bit more white there, and we can also make life harder for this pink circle by putting blues on its road. That'll be fine. Although, putting blues on that road does mean that these pinks now have some way that they can help out over here, which is great for them. All right, I think the only thing that could have possibly kept me going past 3300 would have been a motorway here to get a whole bunch more whites involved. And I did not get a motorway there, so yeah, this is problematic. All right, let's see here. I've got 8,000 white dudes. What if we just, say, ran a big, long, stupid-ass road? Who wants a big, long, stupid-ass road? I want a big, long, stupid-ass road. What if this big, long, stupid-ass road came all the way... Uh, you're, you're just going that way now. Here. You go that way instead. This big, long, stupid-ass road is going to come all the way up here. And the whites are going to come all the way up here, all the way down here, all the way down here, into this roundabout and fix everything, including the oranges. The oranges are fixed now, too. Look at how, uh, how easily fixed the oranges are. Everybody go. This is totally going to save everything. I don't see why you would say this is a problem. This isn't a problem. This is fine. This is good. This thing that I'm doing, it's fine and good. Here. Everybody go. Definitely not gonna roundabout that kills everything. And oh no, the roundabout that kills everything killed everything. How about that? 3,385 feels like a pretty good number. Probably not like super great or anything, but we'll see. Oh! Oh. Oh, it's number... I'm number seven in the world. And I still got Samurai Slammed. Number seven in the world. I still got Samurai Slammed. Okay. Sure. <laughs> that, that also works. Ugh. Good job, Sam. All right. Uh, we'll drop flame. That's a... Oh, hey. That, that actually got something here. Listen. Uh, the Spirit Squad got shipped off in a big crate. So the Wordle has to be crate. It's not, but it could have been. Uh, do, can I be named Thane of Whiterun? Is that possible? No. No, it is not possible. Alas. Um, I might have a stake in the situation, though. Yeah, it could be stake. It's not, but it could have been. Okay, so it's not stake, and it's not stare. Um, it could be... Stayed? Oh, that's a word. It turns out that's a word. Oops. If it's not stage, I'm in trouble. Oh, good, it's stage. <laughs> all right, listen. They don't all have to be fancy. But listen, this is a perfectly fine and good Wordle word. People probably got this in less than six, usually. But hey, the point is that we got it. The second point is that we had a fun time talking about Mitch by association. We, we didn't really talk about Mitch. I have no direct memories of Mitch other than his name was Mitch. Also, one time Dean Ambrose got in a feud with Chris Jericho and threw a potted plant at him and decided that the potted plant was named Mitch. Uh, th it was a bad feud with dumb booking. <sighs> That's right. It was dumb booking from bad creative and they're not doing that anymore. It's true. They're not doing that anymore. Speaking of not doing things anymore, let's not do this TV show anymore. TV show? YouTube show? Twitch show? Let's end this episode. I will be back later tonight at, no, oh, about 5.30 Eastern, give or take, for Mass Effect Andromeda, which is a fine and good video game for the most part. We will be playing that. I will be back also tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock Eastern for another edition of Good Morning Mini Motorways. Until then, thank you as always for being here. Have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.